Even though we acting bad all summer, we're not gonna be bad this time. What's up, seven? You nigga love me. You can't get enough of me. Oh, we is your girl, Marie. All right, so if you're here because you're a plus size girl and you want tips and tricks on how to keep everything clean, smelling good, feeling good, being that be, I got you. You're in the right place. But if you're new here, it's your girl, Marie. And we, over here, we do all things plus size, everything big, because if you don't wear them curves, who the fuck will? All right, so make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, and don't forget to ring that bell one time for the one time. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into this video because I don't want to talk y'all heads off, and I really want to make sure that it's very informative on how you can stay clean because some of the stuff I had to learn by like trying stuff. My saying is keep fucking around and fucking around till you fuck around and find out. So that's pretty much how I came up with some of the products that I use now. And some of the products that I use, I'm actually out of. So if you would like to see a, a Target um, hygiene shopping video, let me know in the comments down below because that actually might be really, really up to do. So I'm literally out of everything, you're finna see. So the first thing I wanna talk about is um, why it's important to stay clean. Like, it's important to stay clean because your body is your temple, your body is important. If your body don't work to the best of its capacity, you won't be here, and that's not good. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't ever want that for nobody. So it's very, very important to stay clean, and as a young woman, I know you're like, you know, it don't matter, I'm not gonna take a shower today, I'll wash tomorrow. You know, as a plus size girl, wash that ass, okay? Wash it, morning and night because it's summertime and if you outside it you been sweating so wash your behind all right so it is very very important to stay clean it stops infections it helps with you know just a lot of health problems as a woman that we can get your vagina is very 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 sensitive very sensitive so tip number one is just wash your ass like wash it i don't care if you want to use one product start somewhere okay so washing is very very important two your diet is important if you want it to smell good good like fruity good you need to eat some damn fruits you can't be eating Popeye's chicken every day talking about my stuff don't smell right yeah that's not good you know like your diet is important you can't want your shit wet dripping soaking if you ain't drinking no water like make it work for you do what makes sense. What you want to get out of your body, you need to be putting into your body. It's a cycle. Everything has to go full circle. All right? So water, 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 water. I cannot express that enough. Like, also, your liquor intake, too, does affect your pH balance and a lot of other things. So please watch your intake, your liquor intake, because I'm not going to lie. It's something that I'm working on now, too. So we can do it together, sis. We can do this together. All right, so that's tip one, wash. Tip two is diet. So you have to think about the sensitivity of your vagina. And if your your butt in your vagina is literally like next door neighbors, knocking like next door neighbors without doors. So it's not like, oh, okay, well the back door shut. No, it's, it's open too. It's just as sensitive, it's open too. So, so like from the back to the front, you're bringing all that bacteria right across the street to your vagina. Not good. Absolutely not good. I would highly suggest from front to back is the vagina. You start from the front and you wipe to the back and then you discard. Not from back to front, okay? And before I get into my products also, your sex partners is very, 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 very important. I know we are talking about acting bad all 2022. I know we out there trying to live our best lives, but be safe about it because dudes have pH balances, we have pH balances. And if he's sleeping around with everybody without protection and then comes sleeping with you, now you got everybody energy, everybody problems all in your vagina. Also, I wanna to touch on smells because usually once you're sexually active, you'll start to start realizing smells. 
So for everybody that says, Oh, your vagina's supposed to smell so clean. Your vagina's supposed to smell like this. Your vagina's supposed to smell like that. Your vagina is not supposed to have a smell, honestly. If it's musty, that means it's musty. If it's a fishy, strong odor, that means something's wrong. Go to the daughter, sis. Smells, like if it smells, to me, if my vagina smells any type of way besides nothing, I got an issue. Like, I work very, very hard to make sure my vagina does not have a smell. And I pride myself on that. Um, I do eat a lot of fruit, so, you know, um, it helps keep my body, my vagina wetter or tighter or things like that. But nobody should have a smell. And I know as a big girl, we sweat. We have more crevice. We have more places for, for liquids to sit because we're bigger. So make sure that you're taking care of your body. Go ahead and talk products. So the first thing that I love, I absolutely love to wash with is Cetaphil. I know you see the commercials. I know you're like, girl, you use that? Yes. And it has not let me down since. When I say it gives you the best wash, I done tried a lot of body washes. And some of them will smell good, but I don't feel clean. Or some of them will clean and leave like a, a film, like body soap, like a bar soap would. Don't like that feeling. Or some just don't do nothing. Like, this will get you clean. The only thing about this though is that it has no fragrance. No fragrance whatsoever. Which, fragrance sometimes can be a bad or a good thing. It just depends on how you're washing with it. But when you wash, ladies, you're going to need a base wash, meaning that you wash before you use your fragrance soap and after you use your fragrance soap. Wash with this soap three times over my whole entire body. I clean in my lips. I clean it on the creases of my legs. Lift these bad boys up. I clean and scrub under here. Lift my stomach up. I lift and clean under there, the back of my knees. I clean three times with this, okay? This is my next go-to. Now, when, the, when I found out that Degree Make Soap, I thought it was so player. I was like, what? What, Degree Make is soap? And then it's lavender scented. It includes Epsom salt, electrolytes, and it's for a muscle reset. It relaxes your, oh, my soap coming off the bottom. It relaxes your um, body. So what I love about what I love about this soap is it's good, it's great for bubble baths, but it's even better for washing. Um, it cleans okay. That's kind of why I don't use it as my foundation anymore. It cleans okay, so don't use this looking for like a clean, a cleansing. Look at this as like, oh, this smells so good. I love the smell of this. And I'm not gonna lie, every time I do wash with this, Daddy's like, ooh, but you smell good. But here's the trick. Since this is my fragrance, I don't go into the vagina with this. Like, I do not go into the vagina with this. I only clean the outside and the crevices. And then, you know, like, I just, like, lather my body in this. I don't use this as if I'm cleaning, cleaning. I just use it to smell good, okay? And while I'm lathering up, I absolutely have to clean my face and Noxzema is the only thing I use for my face. The only thing I use for my face. It works very, very good and they made one with Eucalyptus, which is my favorite, favorite scent, one of my favorite scents. So Noxzema, you put this on your face and it's just like, oh my God. Like you just know your face is getting a good ass cleaning. And that's how I keep my skin so effortlessly gorgeous. Team Natural Skin, Team Glow. <laughs> so, Noxzema is very, very good. I also do this in the shower as well. Um, and as I'm washing and sudden, it's sitting on my face. And I'm washing and washing. I also use a body scrub, but for some reason, my son thought it was a toy and was playing in it and it's gone. And I plan on doing this video today, so we're gonna stick to the schedule. But I also use a body scrub. It is Dr. Teal, and it's the Eucalyptus body scrub. I use that, so I use, so usually, 
when it's time for me to use the body scrub because you don't use the body scrub every day I don't know who told you you do sis you don't need a body scrub every day I on the days that I do use my body scrub I go ahead and scrub put the scrub on first then I come in with this wash all the scrub off then I come in with this to clean and smell and then I go back to this because at the end of the day, I want to be clean. Yes, I can smell good, but I want to be clean. Usually, my showers usually take about 30 minutes, depending on what I've done that day and how many times I feel like I need to wash. After I've showered, washed my face, used my body wash, I then come out the shower and put on deodorant. Because who wants to be around somebody musty? And didn't I tell you, even though we acting bad all summer, we're not gonna be bad this time. That's not it. Okay, deodorant, don't forget it. I even keep a deodorant in my car. I keep one in my purse. You just never know how long your day gonna go. Then of course you want to moisturize. Lotion works best for me. My skin does get, does tend to get dry, so I have to make sure I keep lotion handy. Um, this is Intensive Care Cocoa Radiance with Vaseline included. And make sure you wash that ass. All of it <laughs> if you gotta bend over to get to the back of it do we I get in the shower and I open my butt cheeks up like I spread them hoes out I let the water run down my butt crack because sometimes you have to do that and make sure that it's getting clean go the extra mile for you sis nobody's gonna wash your ass for you so I've been trying okay I love you sis but we gotta draw a line somewhere so Make sure you go the extra mile for yourself. But all right, subbies, I love you. And I hope this video is very informative on how to clean and stay clean throughout the day. Um, I love you, subbies. And if you don't wear those curves, who the fuck will? Wear them with pride. Until next time, he. Play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it.